the borrow checker. It's like having a really strict boss who's on your case every single time you do something wrong. It could be annoying, yes, very annoying. But unlike your boss, the borrow checker has an actual reason. Like this, for example, ignore all the other code around it. This is kind of like its own little example. So this is referencing that data up here. So data would still work. And then down here, we are trying to modify it while it is being borrowed. And if we were to print this out, what exactly would happen is the borrow checker says no. And as you can see, we have cannot borrow data as mutable because it is also borrowed as immutable because you cannot have both at the same time. In Java, this type of thing would be a concurrency modification exception, or at least it could lead to that at runtime. But in Rust, it won't even compile, which is a good thing. You may feel like you're never getting anything done because you can never compile the code, but all of this will help you get to a point where you have actual good code that will compile. It's worth it.